Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see from the title, we'll be doing Midless Monday today. I'll be sharing some of my thoughts, the benefits of Midless Monday, and some examples of Midless protein source with you. So stay tuned. After one and a half months of not driving to the gym, I took the wrong way. The sky is blue, but my Monday is not. Without any further ado, let's go! Oh my god, it's been so long since I last entered this lift. The moment I entered the gym, I met my previous gym instructor. And she was like, oh my god, why do you look so small now? Ugh, I've lost tons of muscles because of COVID-19. I used to have 20 kg of muscles last year, but now I only have 17 kg of muscles. And we're done with the workout. Guys, look at how dirty my car is, oh my god. Guess what, I spent almost 40 minutes waiting for my car to be ready. Welcome to my favorite place. I got almost all my previous Midless Monday lunch from here. I'm finally home and I always shower and sanitize both my phone and my watch when I get home. It's 2 o'clock and I finally get to eat my lunch. I'm having this hakati rice for my Midless Monday lunch. But without the soup. <laughs> I forgot to ask them not to put peanut and now I have to take it out. I'm having brown rice for the base and I asked them to give me less rice. Ta-da! That's a lot. Let's talk a bit on my thoughts when it comes to Midless Monday. I'm very sad when people don't care about their health and they'll be like, you only live once, so eat whatever you like. I wouldn't say this is 100% wrong, but isn't health the ultimate wealth? Sometimes when I tell people that I can't take meat today because I'm doing Midless Monday, they'll be like, ew, are you gonna eat just vegetables? Why do you wanna make your life so hard and troublesome? Girl, you're gonna be lacking protein and lose muscles with this kind of diet. And this is how I'm gonna reply them. Firstly, meatless doesn't mean just vegetables guys. I can eat all kinds of food like egg, milk, rice, bread, pasta, tofu, nuts, beans, seeds, vegetables, and fruits. I'm not gonna starve myself by just eating vegetables. Next, I don't think doing meatless Monday is making my life hard or troublesome. I chose to do it because I understand the benefits behind it and I wanna be healthier. Getting healthy is not easy. You need to put effort to eventually get healthy. Lastly, there are many other protein stores out there other than just meat itself. I'll be talking about this a bit later in the video. And even if I don't meet my daily protein intake requirement, it is not gonna affect much on my muscle, my weight, or my health because I'm only doing it once a week. But in return, I will get tons of benefits from it. Spent my entire afternoon editing video and I'm finally done. Now, let me give you some examples of meatless protein source. Number 1, eggs. One egg has around 6 to 7 grams of protein, and the bioavailability of protein from eggs are very high. Number 2, almond. Every 28 grams of almond has 6 grams of protein, and it is a great source of unsaturated fats. Just in case you're new to my channel, I will attach the previous video up here for you to learn more about fats. Number 3, Chickpeas. 
It provides almost 8 grams of protein in half a cup, and you can cook it in many ways. Number 4. Cottage Cheese There's nearly 12 grams of protein in half a cup of cottage cheese, and they are low in calories compared to the other kind of cheese. Number 5. Soy products like tofu, tempeh, and edamame. Tofu is made from bean curds pressed together in a process similar to cheese making. Tempeh is made by cooking and slightly fermenting mature soybeans prior to pressing them into a patty. Edamame are immature soybeans with a sweet and slightly grassy taste. Every 100 grams of tofu contains 8 grams of protein. Every 100 grams of tempeh contains 19 grams of protein, while every 100 grams of edamame contains 11 grams of protein. Back from dinner and I have to review some articles before I go to bed. I always try to check my planner before I sleep to look at my following day's schedule and see if anything important is coming up. I'll update it from time to time to make sure everything is up to date. Just in case you're wondering, I'm using the app called GoodNotes on my iPad Pro. Thanks everyone for finishing this video. I hope you've learned something today. Don't forget to like, comment, and share the video if you like it. Remember to subscribe if you're new to my channel. See you again on Tuesday.